Excited to see what the final pick is here. Uh, we'll see if we are convinced. Okay, so it is going to be Blitz. So um, this is a matchup that people do like. Generally speaking, the interaction... The bottom people... lane 2v2 for Team Liquid. I mean, Zaya, Blitzcrank, not a whole lot of lane threat. Good hook there after the flash of Core JJ. Here comes Santorin with the assist. Bear stance on, and Aphrom is getting low. Ignite is on, and that's first blood to Santorin. Things are really, going... really going rough for Dignitas, and... And I think a lot of that is due to player skill, to be fair. He'll be taken here by Santorin. He's moving up to the top side, and they're looking for the dive here. Alfari going to set it all up. Good ulti there from Fake God, but he's stunned already. It's just not going to matter. Fake God actually may be A-OK. -okay. Great flash for Santorin, but the slow is even better. Oh. Fake God, he finds the outplay, and Santorin dies under the enemy tower. Oh, Santorin, man. The dive was... Oh, that is why he is dedicating his time here. You know, it's obviously... Uh, about denying the vision more than it is about just pure efficiency. So it does pay off. They have that second dragon. This is a very early second dragon for, and for a lot of the members of the team. Uh, the Udyr, it's very nice. For Renekton, it's incredibly nice to have that move speed. And Hook comes in, but Corgi does not have tower aggro, so it's Ooh. not going to be much. But they're getting TP'd on now. Yeah, Neil also getting a lock up there. So Double buying TP. a bit of time for this TP to come in. Fakeout's in. Saligo's in as well. Santorin going to be the first target. But it's getting poked down. Ulti there is going to split the uprights as Dardock almost was there ready with the alley oop cleaver. But the good hook there for Core JJ on the other side is going to give Tactical that first kill. And now Team Liquid just running rampant in the fight. But the turnaround is maybe there. Neil with a great ulti to get out from under the shockwave. And Dardock is going to kill Alfari at the end of it all. He's going to actually grab the double kills. The cleavers keep coming in. Aframu looking for the follow up hook. Surely he's there ready with the Manalus Tactical. But Fake God's going to ride in with the body slam instead. The hook still not coming, but the cleavers keep hitting. Dardock has them for days and days as Tactical and Core JJ under their own tower are going to get killed <laughs> as Core into the zone as he goes. But the last barrel is almost enough to pick up the kill, and surely they get this one as well. Dignitas just need a little bit more damage as Aphrom is going to line up the hook. Misses. All right, who's the next one? Fake God, your turn. Just got to wait for the minions and then walk it in for the easy kill here. They want to give it to Neo is what they're trying to do, and they do give it to Neo on the pullback. Nice. That is huge. Players actually didn't have their TP, but... It's of questionable worth, right? You know, when when you actually roam your top Noble, laner. which is good. Uh, Drake, also good. Uh, as good as it is for Mundo, as it is for Udyr, I suppose. If you want to that now. I agree. <laughs> We're aligned. As Saligo going to scoop up the uh, minions here in mid. <laughs> Just uh, some back and forth here. Drake, not up for three and a half minutes or so. This. TL are going to get more gold off of it. And he is going to be a, t a TP for the play. They actually want to contest, but are they too late? They jumped on Neo. They do uh, get the Drake's stolen. They can deal damage safely, but not really getting opportunities. This is Aphromoo trying to get some vision in his own jungle and getting hunted down by the squad. It's Alfari to lead the charge, but Call JJ is going to find the first hook, and Alfari will collect the gold. They are going to be looking for this turn. Alfari is in position to flank Neo. You are face checking a crocodile, my friend. Yep. It's a bad time. Ulti's not going to save you for too long as Alfari just going to slice straight on. Dice in, and Alfari takes down Neo as Dardock is going to try and chase the TL top laner down, but the Baron is the real issue here as Fake God's in the area. Dardock also ready with a potential steal. He's got the flash, he's got the smite, he's charging in on Mundo. But Alfari's flanking them now. They're in such a dire position. Here comes Alfari. Goes in again. Good shockwave there for Jensen. Set up by Alfari. Finds the Azir. Dardock is going to die. So TL can go straight back to the Varen. But Fake God also on the table. Neo kills him off. Gets his flash and ultimate. Then Dignitas are basically in a no-win situation. You either chase Alfari across the whole map and the Baron dies for free. Or you stop chasing him. You go to contest the Baron. And guess what? Alfari is behind you. He's on the flank already from his previous positioning. Alfari makes the pincer play. Buff Powered Team Liquid. I think it's going to knock down mid here. Uh, Afro did get the mid outer, which is good, but a very, very small consolation mm -hmm. vibe. But they need to find an actual 5v5 and not find themselves being picked off in their own jungle. As Afro's going to try and make the play, but Jensen just steps back with the lantern for safety and is A OK. Yeah, they're just pressuring them across the map here. Fake God trying to hold on to this tower. Dardock moving up. Uh, and he's just going to commit to the tower kill. We'll see if they can chase him down, but. Looks like they feel TL is too close and could respond to that, so they don't want to overcommit. They're just going to have to give up even more, back it up into the base, trying to play full-on defense here. And Santorin now just threatening with the engage here to zone them off and get them yet another turret. They are so far ahead in gold, and when you have your opponents locked in their base like this, as Saligo takes a nasty cue to the face there from MF, 
you know that they have no vision on the map, right? Which makes it so easy to grab dragon. Good hook. Cord J gonna set up Dardock there. He's gonna get killed by Tactical. And now Saligo going in, scoops up two with the Emperor's Divide, but now he's getting chased by the rest of Team Liquid. Santoran, of course, first to the party. As Alfari is gonna be on a killing spree as he takes down Saligo. Shot great for Jensen. Hook for Cord JJ. Could be a twofer as a double kill for Alfari is gonna come through. And now Fake got the next That's target. Game. Is Alfari gonna try and finish him off? And indeed, 45 seconds with the Baron up. Aphromu gonna get stunned up in front of his own fountain. And Team Liquid actually need to kill another inhibitor because, uh, you know, might as well. But uh, instead, they'll turn back on. They'll look to take the Nexus down and Dignitas 2v4. Tactical's dead. 2v4. Going to try and defend this Nexus, but no such luck. Team Liquid bouncing right back after a loss yesterday. Take down Dignitas. Looking really good while they're at it. They had that one fight that went bad for them down on the bottom.